So here is a lot for sale uh, for 89000 in Hope Sound, Florida. This looks like the survey marker. Uh, your neighbor's right there. And the other neighbor is somewhat close as well. And there's your survey marker on that corner. Uh, but this is rated for a mobile home. You can't just put an RV here. And you have to check into if it has septic or sewer water hookup but that pad has mobile home anchors uh, there's nothing in between just grass and then you have a pad here so you may have to add concrete or whatever it may be uh, your neighbors are close uh, not so much in the back uh, but for under hundred under a hundred thousand to own the land no HOA is a decent deal uh, it's a good deal nowadays now that's the water I don't know what that electric is I guess that electric comes from the electrical pedestal uh, which you'd have to look into so you'd have to add a disconnect for the mobile home I'm sure the pedestal probably has the meter pan off and you probably before you can get utilities here you'd probably have to go through some type of township uh, permits and inspection to put the mobile home and have all the utilities uh, again whether it's septic or whatever it may be all that inspected um, but for again for under a hundred thousand that's that's what you're getting here raw land a uh, lot for sale for a mobile home you would have to put a mobile home here can't just put an RV you'd have to look into the utilities you have to pull out permits and you're somewhat close to your neighbor but again you're 10 minutes from Jupiter Florida to own land you own the land no HOA for under a hundred thousand it's still a pretty much decent deal uh, would I consider it I would that's why I'm standing here uh, but what I don't like is uh, the planning, the project management, and the construction to put something here. And, you know, and then, you know, you're still close to people, close to your neighbors. I may like a little bit more space. But it's a you know, nice looking street. Some of these uh, neighbors, it looks like, are seasonal. Some are full time. Quiet street though. It's almost May as I make this, so it's the end of the season. Most of the snowbirds have gone up north. That's another empty lot. This is something you could, I was thinking of buying just as an investment long term. But I hate to have something just sitting. But I guess, you know, asset allocation, you know, there's not much upkeep. You do have to mow the lawn because there's no HOA. There's a voluntary HOA for about $300. Uh, you can have access to the pool, but you don't have to join it. Now, you see that there's a guy way down there. He does have an RV, but he has the mobile home on the lot. So you could put a mobile home here and then put your RV next to it as well. Um, but something to consider, under 100000 still very rare. Property taxes probably, once you put something on here, be 2000 a year, which is pretty good. Again, no HOA, $100 or so to maintain this lawn. So, I don't know, hopefully you appreciate these videos. Click the thumbs up. So just take you on a little drive right outside the lot here and how you would leave your property. Because I like to give you perspective. You know, you can't just look online. You gotta see your neighbors. You gotta drive a little bit around the neighborhood. But knowing this neighborhood, again, it's uh, some of the mobile home lots have been totally bought out and redeveloped into brand new and well maintained. You see the maintenance of this community is very nice even though there's no HOA. So people take pride in ownership. Uh, some of them are run down though and you're still close to your neighbors. So, and it looks like that on that lot, there's two full-time, looks like looks like residents. And so it's something you have to consider if you're a little bit claustrophobic. But you know, it's like anything for the most part, usually, unless you really get unlucky, usually as long as you mind your business and your neighbors are somewhat respectful, you know, you don't have a problem, you know, but you know, certainly it's not always the case, but I was looking at a couple of mobile homes in here a few years ago and they were, um, you know, around a hundred thousand dollars. So, you know, now the lot is around a hundred thousand dollars and the mobile homes, well, there's one in here right now for sale for 150. So I like that one better than that lot. Uh, but it's like double the price, right? So, see that guy has his RV parked out there, you know. So it all, you know, some of it, like every property, whether single-family home, mobile home, or RV lot, 
a lot of it is uh, who's your neighbors, you know. But, you know, again, it's that's life. What can you do? It's not perfect. Especially at this price point. But once you come out of here, you make a right and you go to um, Route 1. And Route 1, you make a left. You're, you know, again, 10 minutes away from Jupiter. Five minutes away from Hope Sound Beach uh, off Bridge Road. You got gas stations. Every store you imagine. You're five minutes from Starbucks. Ten minutes from Planet Fitness. Everything you'd want. Uh, Publix is right here. You walk to Publix, which is the major supermarket in Florida. So you got the amenities, you got the infrastructure, you got the upside because you're well located uh, in between Stewart and Jupiter, and you own the land, no HOA. So is it worth a hundred thousand, eighty-nine thousand for the lot? Yes. Is it worth a hundred and fifty for the cheapest mobile home in there? That you that you get that plus the lot? Yes. Uh, they sell. You know these don't stay on the market too long. You know that's a, excuse me, that's a brand new Publix brand new within the past year so you know you got everything you need walk to the supermarket drive five minutes to the beach um there's a hospital close by everything you need so it's it's just a matter of lifestyle and asset allocation and living below your means etc but hopefully you appreciate these videos click the thumbs up keep showing up and keep boundaries peace